Hi there guys, my name is Zach and welcome to Painting Support Group. Today I am painting some 15th century infantry from Perry Miniatures. These guys used to sculpt for Games Workshop a long time ago and now they do their own historical models. A um, little bit of a story behind this one. Um, I My other hobby is doing 15th century reenacting so I uh, wear armour and joust and ride horses and so on um, and a friend of mine called William um, it was his birthday during a lockdown just a couple weeks ago so I built him this model and um, said that I'd paint it up for him so uh, here it is this is me painting some a 15th century infantry model for William for his birthday. Um, so first of all I've painted all of the, well I sprayed it black and then painted all of the steel armour with um, coat d'arms, chainmail I think it is. Now this guy is wearing a brigandine, that's a type of armour that is covered in cloth and they were often brightly coloured. William said he wanted the, this guy painted in my colours, so I'm going for a dark red. Uh, I think this one is Mephiston red. I think Mephiston red is the darker one. So I've uh, painted the brigandine with Mephiston red um, and then come back with corn red uh, to do a layer over the top there, just brighten it up. Now. I'm intending, and I will later on, to use some null oil to add some shading and dull all of these colours down. So I'm actually going really quite bright uh, on these on these colours, and then they're going to get a whole lot darker before the end. Uh, giving him some brown boots. Um, is that Scrag Brown? I think it might be Scrag Brown. Brown. I just did this really, uh, really quickly. I enjoyed doing my uh, sequitur in 30 minutes, so I tried to do this as uh, as quickly as possible. There's some um, dryer bark for the um, for the pole on his pike there. A bit later on, I don't think straight away, I did the head of the pike with the lead belcher. Oh, there we go. Uh, now the reason for that is that that is a very small part that doesn't have a lot of detail on it. So it's not going to take the null oil wash very well. Um, so I've done that darker than all of the uh, details on the model. Now here, I'm painting on his belt and I'm using a contrast paint for that. Now because things like belts and then the laces on his shoulder armour are really really small, I'm using contrast paints for those um, so that then you don't have to come back and do lots of little really really tiny highlights and then also the straps on his brigandine as well. So. Um, contrast paints are great for those, so I used um, the black uh, for that. Now I'm doing his hands and his chin that's painted with Kislev flesh, and I actually needed to do about uh, two to three coats of that, and I ended up in the last coat, I mixed in a little bit of wraith bone because um, the coverage just wasn't there. And remember, we're going lighter so that we can dull it down a bit later on. And then finally just a little bit of Mechanicus standard grey on his trousers. You know, medievally we call that hose. Um, and yeah, then I think we're almost off. Here we go, here's the, um, the mix. Just doing a bit of a highlight on the skin and hand, and uh, his little pouch there. Mix of Kislev flesh and um, and 
face bone. Yeah, so then we move over in just a minute to the airbrushing table. There we go, all the base colors down. I think that took me about 10, 15 minutes. Right, so at the airbrush table, all that I have in there is Nolm oil. And I'm just at Nolm oil and flow improver, I should say. And I'm just shooting that on, I'm glazing it over. Um, thin, thin layers, it's easier to put it on than it is to take it off. And shooting it either from um, below or um, below or straight on, not from above, because you want to leave the uh, the higher points lighter. So there we go. We really dulled it down now, and we're back over to the main workbench. And we're coming back with some corn red to add in some highlights there over the uh, the brigandine. Um, just on the, the top layers there. And then now we've come back with some, um, what was it, was it scrag brown? The benefit of doing it um, using this method is that you can actually highlight using the original colors. You don't need a whole new color for highlight. Although having said that, the color I'm using here is um, mithril silver to really make the metal pop. Um, I love mithril silver. Um, it's a really bright color. I think the equivalent in modern day Games Workshop colors is um, Stormhose Silver, but I use it so sparingly on each model, only for minor highlights that actually um, I think this is going to last me a long time. And then here we go, some Kislev Flesh over the hands and face, just picking on the top again. Didn't even turn him around to paint uh, the palm there because, let's face it, no one's going to look at that and also that area will be in, in shadow. So now I'm coming back with the Contrast Black Templar paint um, to black line in between all of the armour plates. All the armour plates that are more obvious, I should say. You don't need to black line all of them. Um, and I think I also blacklined uh, the um, uh, the lid of his pouch that's uh, there by his side there. What are we going to do now? Oh, we're painting the base now. So, painting the top of it with um, Steel Legion Drab. Now, um, these miniatures uh, most historicals actually usually come with kind of a little mini plastic base attached to the feet. So I've built up around that using Miller Putt to make it into a little mound that he's standing on. That I did that ages ago uh, at the assembly stage. And then um, going around the rim of the base with Abaddon Black. And then we're going to do some basing magic. So this is from Luke's APS, uh, part of his base ready range uh, from Geek Gaming, and it's literally just one pot. So put some PVA on, dip it in the pot, and I've added a tuft as well, just there, and then here's our guy finished. So let me know guys, what do you think? Do you like the model? Uh, do you want me to do some more historical models here? Um, what do you think of the basing? I think for the amount of effort it's amazing uh, what Luke has done is great. So do like and subscribe, comment and it would be great to see you in another video. Bye!